and it hit me. Oh my gosh, this is what I've been missing my whole life. On May 17th, 2021, I wrote a note to my family explaining why I took my own life. Um, obviously, I didn't. I realized something on May 17th, 2021. And it was the last part of the whole letter that I wrote. And that was the only thing that stopped me from doing it. The last time I had a day where I wanted to self-harm was New Year's 2021. DBT took me from being extremely depressed to a point where I no longer had symptoms of depression and was able to experience genuine happiness in little things throughout the day. And I don't want to make light of that because that is a very, very big deal. I literally thought for most of my life that I was just going to be depressed my whole life. But having little glimpses of happiness every day and not wanting to self-harm wasn't my ultimate goal true purpose and true peace and true fulfillment that's what i've always wanted i told you guys i met with a friend who was talking about their faith and i saw the difference in them that i had never seen in anyone else i'd ever met they were truly at peace totally fulfilled and they loved everybody as a child of god even if they're not a believer and i was like I've never been really pushed to dig deeper into this God thing. I grew up Catholic and I had this idea like there's a higher power. I was just listening to all these different things that I was hearing on social media and from friends. I didn't know what was what. I met this person. I was like, oh, this is different. I want to figure out what is going on here. You guys know that I do a lot of research into everything I do. I had a million questions. How do we know that the Bible was inspired by God? How do we know these people were really there watching Jesus do these things? How do we know this was actually preserved? It's been translated so many times. I'm gonna do a video on how I worked through all of the questions I had. There is so much evidence. I could not reject that evidence. Along the journey, I started meeting more and more people who had the same feeling of peace and totally fulfilled in nothing but having Christ. And I started learning about Christ and I started reading the Bible every single day and learning about his character. And then one day I was in the bathroom and it was just quiet and I was in my house both by myself. And at this point I had proven to myself that Jesus was a human being, irrefutable evidence that Christ rose after being dead. I had so much evidence that getting to know God, not following a religion, getting to know God and having a relationship where you talk to him and ask him for help and lean on him and want him to know your, your life and your struggles, being thankful to him, having that relationship makes a difference 100% in people who truly trust and give everything up to him and love him. And I'm sitting in the bathroom thinking about all this logical stuff and all of these emotional, beautiful things that I've seen. And it hit me. Oh my gosh. This is what I've been missing my whole life. This is real. The Bible is real. What? I knew it in that moment. And I was weeping. In that moment, in the bathroom, I saw pictures of different moments in my life. And I had the overwhelming feeling that it all makes sense. I've needed him this whole time. And now I have him. I am home. I knew that 
I would never be alone again. Last week, I'm at the gym, and I'm like, oh, there has to be more to this. It had to have started a long time ago. I had to have known that God was real a long time ago. And I'm thinking to myself while I'm walking on the treadmill, when did I know God was real? And I'm like, did I ever know God was real? Did I really know he was real before I had this experience where I was in my bathroom? And it came into my head, type the word God into your notes. And I typed the word God into my notes. And the note from May 17th, 2021 popped up. And I saw the highlighted word. And I read the whole letter telling my family why I had to do what I did. Why I was finally giving up. And I read the last line that said, I hope that God understands I had no other choice. I remember that I had therapy the next day and I remember telling her, Nicole, the only reason I didn't do it is because A, I'm afraid of pain and B, I'm afraid of making a decision that I cannot undo and that I will have to suffer for eternity because I know God is real. If I thought there's no God, if I made up my mind and was certain on that, I would have gotten over the pain. I'm confident feeling pain wouldn't have been enough. Knowing that God is real saved my life. All people have an awareness of God. And I think throughout our lives, we try to push that awareness down because we have heard things about religion and about what people are telling us to do and it doesn't align with what we want to do and what's going to bring us pleasure. There's also a lot of situations where people push down the awareness of God because they were traumatized by religion and they were traumatized by people who were trying to push an agenda about something they believed or an interpretation that they decided was correct. And that can cause someone to never want to dive deeper into what God is actually saying because people ruined it for them a religion ruined it for them. But when you're faced with a life and death situation, for me, it was impossible to ignore that awareness that God was real. But that's not when my relationship with him started. Over the course of 22, 23 years, up until that point of me writing that letter, my tendency naturally was to push down that awareness of God to ignore and try to convince myself it wasn't real. And it's so easy to do that when you're just living day-to-day -day life. It's so easy to get confused and to have all of these other things put into your mind to distract you from what you really know is real. You're not in a life and death situation every single day. So you forget what you felt in that moment. So after I was out of that moment and after I was out of that depression, I was thinking about all of the things that I remembered learning in Catholic school and I was remembering all the things I learned about religion. At that point, I had only met people who were religious people and weren't focusing on a relationship with God, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And I needed to see what that looked like in real people to understand that there is a big difference between religion and a relationship with God. I knew God was real. And then I met a Christian who had a relationship with Christ and exuded that. And that sparked my interest. And as soon as I proved to myself that the Bible is accurate, the Bible is real, Jesus Christ was real, Jesus resurrected, I was fully in. And in that bathroom that day, it all clicked. I'm not following a religion. I'm not following what people tell me to do. I'm following what God says. I didn't create Christianity. I didn't write the Bible. This is not my faith. This is not my truth. 
This is God's word and I'm living by God's word. I know I'm new in the faith. I've talked to so many people and I felt it myself. When you find Christ, you don't fall to your knees and weep, acknowledging there is a God and this is his word. And then just like, eh, slowly get on board. It's not like you have to be a Christian for 10 years before you can be this dedicated to Christ. You're gonna just see it through the lens that you wanna see it through. If you choose to have an open mind, then you're gonna see this beautiful journey. I used to be someone who like would read comments and wanna defend, defend, defend. If someone doesn't support my choice now, this is the only time in my life where my decisions I know are coming from God's will. I give all of my stress over to him and I truly trust him. I truly trust him and that takes the burden off of me. And that is truly freeing. That is what I wanna to submit to, trusting him. Having that peace over everything is just the most amazing thing. I wanna share that with you guys. I feel your hearts and there's been so much planning into this channel. I'm gonna start vlogging. That plan is in place. You'll see how I live my life. You'll see everything. And I'm so confident that you're gonna see how Christ has changed my life. And I hope that you get curious. That's my hope. Even if you don't believe this is true, if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the Bible, I will always respect and love you guys. Always. Thank you for listening. And I will see you in the next one.